You'll be entering a radiation area. Each of you will receive uh, less than one millirem uh, while you're out there of exposure. This is Matthew Wald reporting for the New York Times in Marseilles, Illinois. About 75% of the nation's nuclear waste remains in pools like these at Exelon's LaSalle plant, 70 miles southwest of Chicago. At first, many thought that the spent fuel would stay in such pools for just a few years until a permanent repository, like the one proposed at Nevada's Yucca Mountain, would be opened. But it's looking less and less likely that there'll be a repository soon. This is the final outer pack in which it's going to sit on the pad yes. for some decades yes. to come. Now the nuclear industry is turning to an alternate technology, dry casks. They will create more storage capacity and some say safer capacity than the pools. This shift is at the center of a national debate about how the U.S. nuclear plant should handle their waste, which has come under increased scrutiny following the meltdown at Japan's Fukushima plant. The argument is that these 180-ton silos are a safer option for the next few decades. Some experts maintain that the pools are vulnerable to earthquakes, blackouts, or terrorist attacks. These casks, in contrast, are passive. They don't have any mechanical systems that require power, uh, and they're not subject to corrosion or other hazards that a pool might be. Moving waste to dry casks is a delicate, painstaking process. Anytime you move highly radioactive material, there's a risk of human error. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is exploring the issue. It's currently not requiring that the plants go through the expensive process of moving their waste until it's absolutely necessary. Now this is the high storm. This is what the fuel this actually is sitting is. out on the pad. This is what goes out onto the pad. All the fuel more than five years old could be put into dry casks, but that might cost seven billion dollars. I'm certain that there are changes to our industry that are coming um, due to the Fukushima event. Um, ho however, I believe that the uh, the government as well as the industry believes that uh, the fuel storage in the pools or in the casks are both safe. There's space here for 90 casks. If they fill 10 a year, which is their current goal, that's going to be nine years. But they're out here in the open, so they've got space to expand the pad and put in more if they need it. But even if the casks are more widely adopted, they aren't supposed to be a permanent solution. It's the federal government's job to find a burial place for the nuclear material contained inside them. And so far, the government has come up short. 